Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Sushil this side and today we are going to see about the self-hosted integration runtime demo. So in the last videos, we have seen about the integration runtime and types of integration runtime and we have seen about the Azure integration runtime and in the last video, we have seen about the self-hosted IR. So if you haven't watched that video, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. So in this video, we will be going to see in the practical demo. So let's understand about our requirement. So here we are having two SQL server. First is the Azure SQL that you can see here. Second is the SQL server that you can see here. So under the SQL server, we are having a table that you can see this employee data table. And this employee data table is having around 162 rows. And in your Azure SQL table, we don't have any data. So our requirement is we want to load the data from the SQL server that is in on-prem environment to the Azure environment that you can see here and the table structure is same for both. So go to on the browser and we'll try to create the pipeline. So here go to under the author tab and here let me try to create a new pipeline and let me call this pipeline as self hosted data load. Now, here we are required to use the copy data. So this copy data will load the data. Let me make this like this. Now, this copy data, we want to rename this. So this will copy data from SQL server to Azure SQL. Now, go to the source. So this time our source is on-prem environment that we have seen. So we have to create the data set. So before creating data set, we are required to create the link service. And under link service, we have to use the self-hosted IR that we have created in the last video. So let me click on new and the source that is SQL server that we can see here. Let me click on continue. Call this as SQL server on prem employee data. And under the link service, we are required to click on new. And link service that should be SQL server on prem. Here we can see the integration runtime. So this time we are required to use this self-hosted IR that we had created in the last video. Now we can scroll down here. We need to specify the server name, database name and user ID and password. So here we can see the server name. So this is the server name. So go back to here and add the server name. Now what is the database name? So the database name is SSIS underscore test. We can also verify from here. So this is your database. Now we need to add the username and password. So username is SA and password I am going to specify here. Now we can test the connection here. So test connection succeed. So that's great. Click on create. So this link service will be creating. Now here we have to select the table. So let me click on this and here the table that should be with the employee. So this is the table by which we want to load the data. Now let me click on OK. So this data set is created successfully and from this table we are going to load the data into the destination table and the destination table is in Azure SQL. So go to on the sync side and under the sync here we can see the sync database. So sync data set. So let me click on new and this is the Azure SQL. So let me search for Azure SQL. Click on continue. Let me try to call this as Azure SQL EMP. 
in the link service we have already created these but i am going to create a new one here let me call this as azure sql ssu so this is already there so let me call this as 0 1 now here we are required to use the auto resolved ir because the destination is available in the azure here we have to select the subscription so this is our subscription we can select that and after that we can add the server name so let me click on this so this is the server name and after that it is loading the database name so the database name is ssu that's great now here we need to add the user id and password so let me try to add the user id that is pvi and the password i am going to add here now we can test the connection here as well so connection is succeed let me click on create so it will create a new link service with the name of azure sql ssu01 here we need to select the table so this is the table by which we want to load the data now click on ok so this data set will be created now we can go in the mapping and import the schema from here as our source table and the destination tables schemas are same so it will map automatically that you can see here now we can publish this so we can click on that and click on publish now we want to execute this so we can click on debug so it will take a little bit time to execute and we load the data from sql server to azure sql so as we can see in queue so that is in progress now so here we can see it got succeed in 25 seconds now go to in the ssms and we'll try to refresh the table so this table should have the data so let me refresh with the control r so here we can see the data is successfully loaded there and we can see 162 rows so i hope guys you have better understanding how we can move the data from your sql server on-prem environment to azure sql by using the self-hosted ir so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.